very much. Just love to do it. Okay, hello everyone. It's a great pleasure to be here today with you. Uh, one of the best UX conferences in Central Europe. Uh, yeah, that's me. Uh, I'm very happy that you decided to come to my presentation and I hope that you will get something useful for you in the next 20 minutes. Okay, let's talk about details. Let me start from the phrase by little known computer geek, homegrown engineer, and a diet expert. Everything is important. The success is in the details. This fella here was able to build from scratch a company worth $98 billion. This year, Apple has hit 41.6% of US smartphone market share. And this is only a part of their business. As you all know, Steve Jobs was a great visionary. He was a man way ahead his times. At the same time, some of you might don't know that he was impatient, dominant, and ruthless man who used to describe things in two ways. So, something might be an extraordinary idea. In a second. Something might be a completely shit. So basically, some of us might summarize Joe's as a dick. But you know what? I admire that man. I admire his motivation, courage, and passion to what he was doing. Even now, when Joe's is dead, I admire how he was able to focus on this crucial element and simple element, and that element is a detail. Even his story knows a lot of examples of great inventions and total failures. In fact, some of those stories have become a good example of so-called design inspiration technique. Like the situation when Earl realized that his idea of stone wheel uh, was, was uh, taken by the Warren's company. Maybe Earl didn't become a very famous person as Edwin Land who co-founded Polaroid. But it's not the point. The point is that the Jaguar skilled lover went Dictionary of 10 words was able to focus and interest it in a function of a round shape and how this shape will influence our daily lives. Even Charles, when he was sitting his bum on a newest chair of his design, was pretty convinced that details are the essential part of a unique product. So, why don't we focus on details? Why we don't give a shit about them? Let me give you a couple of examples what people use to answer when they ask about paying more attention to details. One piece of advice. If you hear at least one thing from the list above, run. Just run. Or fire the man who is wasting your time. If you want to do it, that means you're already fucked. And so is your project. A couple of examples of great state of ignorance if in our daily lives. The USB cable. Functional, flexible, and universal source of data and energy to my newest camera. It's super, super awesome and, and simple, right? So. Why the hell I have the same problem with it? Why this great revolution that was made 18 years ago is wasted by the fact that it's not obvious which side is the right side when I put the cable into my computer slot? So second invention was adopted by most companies having 20 plus manpower. Unfortunately, this product is often wasted by the fact that some ignorance put it without any sight, there is a glass door ahead. Once more, 
behold a UX state of mind. Completely automatic public Turing test to tell computers and humans apart. And by the way, who is inventing those names? Germans? So this is a great example of how we love to show a middle finger to our regular user. I mean, it's a great tool, at least to secure the access against automats and humans. And, and this is only a very simple de detail, right? So I wouldn't burst a bubble here if I didn't think that there is a good set of advice that can filter our genius from spreading on all of our work. So first advice is to follow the white rabbit or the grey one, or even a blue one. <coughs> you know what? Just be like the rabbit, literally. Remember the moment when you were having a break and were browsing for a couple of several pages in your browser, and suddenly a very creative ad starting to convince you to buy a new box of Pepto-Bismol, or worse, Natasha Urbańska is starting to see it. Yeah, it's a nice film, by the way. For our foreign colleagues here, Natasha Urbańska is the artist like Millie Cyrus and her wrecking ball. So this is a good fit. Google Chrome has made our lives less miserable. <laughs> they added a tiny detail which informs us which browser tab is distracting our self-confidence that we are a good example of so-called hard and experienced user. So, as you can see, the improvement can be as tiny as an icon, but the final impact will be 100% bigger. Next advice is about grasping the real nature of the problem. It's about going to the bottom of the user need. Have you ever had <coughs> a problem with signing in into a, a, an application on a mobile device? Do you remember how many times it, it actually happened? I reckon that I had this problem a couple of times, especially when I was signing into Facebook account, which, by the way, doesn't happen very often. But in, in, in the voice in my head ramping, am I typing the wrong password? Or maybe I just made a typo because of my fat fingers. So LinkedIn's designer thought through this scenario. And then they added a tiny feature, which will help me never fail again. With the tap of my finger, I can reveal the truth and understand what happened. What is the password that I typed just? Everyone loves to use beautiful things, right? So my next advice is about adding in each product a pony. <laughs> and, and I mean it, really. Just whenever you will be working on something, add something bold, beautiful, and extremely useful. Something in you, our users can fall in love. And don't just try it, just do it. How many of you, and this is a quiz, how many of you love to eat French fries? I know this is the last presentation, but try to raise hands who loves to eat French fries. Awesome, yeah. You, you love the, the texture, the crispy sound when you put it in, in your mouth and it's spread apart. My wife also loves to eat french fries and I don't share the passion. But I do understand that you love to eat french fries. And I also understand that some of you want to eat them with ketchup. Yeah, it does make sense to eat french fries with ketchup. So, would you believe, I don't know why, why there is a pony, but would you believe that current shapes of French fries aren't a matter of coincidence? That
current shape was actually designed, and that's why there is a pony. Your first pony here. Yeah, it's running. <laughs> cool. Uh, next example is slightly different. When I was recently in Sydney, I took a photo of a building. So I was excited when I realized that an architect or a designer of this building was able to blend in the shape and the form of this building a fire escapes. So how, look how beautiful they are. It, it makes evacuation process, process so more beautiful, <laughs> right? <laughs> And I think, I'm sure that this detail is worth spitting some cereal. And, yeah, this advice is the most important one. If you will remember only one thing from this presentation, <coughs> please remember this. Because this is an essential part of what we are doing. This is an essential part of our work. So this is a second photo uh, taken in Sydney. And by the way, how dumb am I taking this kind of photos when being in Australia? So I'm supposed to see some kangaroos, so I'm not taking this bloody, sh bloody photos. So anyhow, you think that ability to cross the street without getting hit by a car it's an obvious skill, right? So think again. I don't think it's obvious, especially when it comes to a blind or deaf people. So that's why we are having different shapes and different signs which informs us whether it's a free passage or not. That's why we are hearing sounds which informs us that there is a green or a red light. So we have, we have deaf, blind, distracted people, even people with color blindness. Think again. What about blind and deaf people? Are we allowing them to get hit by a truck? I hope not. So once again, I was very happy to see that a designer of this, this thing thought about those details. And this person added a very tiny element which vibrates and informs you whether you can cross the street or not. And this is a detail that is worth doing. <coughs> Earning money is a fundamental thing in modern business. But this advice is not about saving the money. It's about reducing different types of costs. So let me give you a short story. <coughs> Over 30 years ago, there was a man who was working in a company and his name was Larry Kenya. And Larry worked in a team who tried to, to build an awesome operating system. And Larry was responsible for a part of the system which was responsible for booting it in, in the computer. And one day, actually, to Larry came Jobs, because this was Apple, actually. And Jobs was starting a discussion about saving a couple of seconds with the total length of, of booting the system. So Larry thought it's, it's impossible. It's undoable to, to save a couple of seconds from this, this process. But because Jobs was so motivated and thought that this tiny detail is so important, Larry thought through this, his statement, and at the end, he thought, he can do it. He will do it, and he took the challenge. And after a couple of weeks, he was managed to achieve his goal. He was able to reduce the total length of booting the system with 28 seconds. At that time, it was like forever. So let me give you a short brief. What was the impact of this situation? What was the impact of this moment in our present times? These days, when you open a, an Apple's laptop, the system is already there. It's, it's just waiting for your action. 
You don't need to wait a stare in the blind, blank, blank screen. So that's why, because someone thought that this tiny detail was so important, these days we can have an awesome experience. Let me recap what I just said. These are five pieces of advice that I want to give into your hands so you can implement those in whatever you will be doing in the future. Remember about adding more awesomeness. Re remember about starting small and then expanding. Remember about reducing different costs in the longer term. Remember about all the things, and especially about this one. Be human and closer to the human needs. It's the most valuable. There's one more thing. When I saw this phrase by Jonathan Eve, it somehow resonated with what I'm trying to do in my daily work, what I'm trying to achieve in my designs. And here it is. Don't worry to fail. Don't worry to be mistaken. If you want to do it, you never will be better. You need to allow yourself to make an error. So try to find a company which encourages you to fail. Try to find a leader which allows you to be wrong. Try different techniques, different approaches, different way, ways of, of solving a problem. Because failing is the most valuable thing, especially when you learn from it. And this is the thing that no one can teach you. You must experience it yourself. So remember about that, that, and remember that there are a lot of details that you need to be aware of. Probably you would all like to know who am I. I'm a UX consultant and I'm working for over eight years now. Uh, currently I'm working in Spartish company and that is based in Gdańsk. Uh, so I encourage you to come to the city and see how awesome it is. I'm also working with Atlassian company, which have offices around the globe, like Sydney, Amsterdam, uh, San Francisco, Vietnam. If you want to get in touch with me, please do. You can use Twitter, email me, or just find a suitable way for you. This presentation wouldn't be so awesome if I wasn't able to use a couple of great images. So thank you, Atlas, that they were sharing it in, in the web. And yeah, now it's time for questions, if you have some. If not, thank you.